All right, Shalom. I'm going to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, Rakak, Wadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the word of sincerity and the truth. And this lesson is just going to go into um, in the spirit that this truth was never meant for the slothful minded. And, um, you know, I'm bouncing to a lot of scriptures because, you know, in, in the spirit, you know, I just got a couple of them queued up. Basically pertaining to diligence because the, the Lord requires an immense amount of diligence to even be found worthy of him. You know, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai and, and the company of men, the band of angels. Hey, his whole setup is about uh, consistency and, and, and giving uh, effort. You know, the, the kingdom will not come by, by lazy and idle hands. It has to come by diligent hands starting off with, of course, the apostles and elders, which they don't do nothing but... Uh, uh, project or, or or push out the spirit of giving diligence. You know that's that's one of the main things that the apostles and elders push to the men of Great Millstone is to give all diligence. All right, because you know that's what the, the spirit of the Lord requires, and it's all located throughout the, the scriptures to give diligent, be constant, be consistent. You know, be active, motivated. You know, the word motivate goes into the word movere, which means to move. So you got to be moving in this thing. These are living waters. Living waters are, are, are active, they're, they're, they're rapid, you know, they're, they're um, constantly moving, constantly cleansing, you know, because as, as those living waters move, they're actually, they're actually purging, you know, bacteria and, and, and various, um, you know, funguses and things of that nature because, you know, fungus and bacteria and things of that nature can't uh, uh, abide in, in living waters, they can only abide in still waters. So, you know, you got to take heed to not be still in this thing because that's when the the um, spiritual demon, uh, Satan, will, will get at you, man. You know, they, they have the saying that idleness is the devil's playground. And it tells you that also in Ecclesiastes, through much idleness of the hands, the uh, the house dropping through. So I'm going to jump into a couple of scriptures of diligence. And, uh, you know, hopefully you brothers will be edified. I'm going to start at Psalms. Matter of fact, no, I don't, excuse me, I don't want that one. Proverbs 10 and 4, he becometh poor that dealeth with the slack hand, but the hand of the diligent make it rich. Why? And, and, and why does the scripture says this uh, individual becomes poor that deal with a slack hand on the side of an individual that becomes rich through uh, giving diligence? Because they're active, man. You're not going to get anything if, if you're not putting in the work, putting in the necessary effort. You know, like these different individuals, these, these top so-called moguls and business tycoons. These individuals that uh, you know have uh, business companies, hey, that takes a lot of work. One thing about it, these Edomites, you know, they, they're the devil. These Moabites, they, they, they're heathens. They're, they're pieces of shit, so to speak. You know, they're the, um, you know, they're, they're trash. The trash nation, wash pots, as it is written in Moab. You know, but one thing about a lot of these nations, they give diligence, man. You know, they up at a certain time. They're not just sleeping around watching goddamn. BT and, and you know just world star all, all day and, and drama all throughout the, the internet they're actually building man they're they're all about investing into their 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 selves investing into their family investing into their nation and that a lot of times they'll uh, gather so much riches and then they'll they'll uh, ship it ship it uh, overseas so to speak and I know individuals that do that especially is a car man Hey, and the scriptures speak about how Issachar is a strong ass, man, because an ass or a donkey is known to give an immense amount of diligence. You know, it's a couple of uh, Issacharists that I used to work with, and they would, um, they'd be busting their ass, man, and they would take thousands of dollars, three, four, five thousand dollars, and they'll ship it to Mexico, you know, to make sure things is uh, uh, straight around their, their parts of the neck of the woods. But that's just the, that's, that's the spirit that you got to be in, man. You know, you got to, you got to actually work, 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 and it's not... I'm not talking about physically working. I'm talking about spiritually working, building this house of David. Hey, the house of David is a house, man. You know, and in order to build a house, you have to have diligent workers. You have to be on schedule, so to speak, on time, in sync. You know, you can't be building in the wrong parts. If you're doing the flows, what the hell is you doing on the roof, man? Or if you're on the roof, what the hell is you doing, Uh, you know, on the walls, doing doing sheetrock work? No, you no. Your lot, know your position, know what you should be building upon, and build on top of that. And that's how you gain riches, because the, the riches is, is spiritual before before they're physical. This is a spiritual book, 
And you don't never want to be uh, slack-handed because you're going to be poor. You're going to have insufficient uh, wisdom. You're not going to have enough spiritual reserves to get you out of certain situations that if you were given, getting, given diligence, you would be able to slide through and slip through with ease. You know, so it's, it's imperative. All right. It's, it's not a, a, a it's not something that is is asked of you. This, this is, these are things that's demanded of you. This is a requirement. All right. So this is Proverbs 12 and 24. The hand of the diligent shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. Hey, and that's the same thing. You know, it says the, the, the hand of the diligent shall bear rule. We, we look into actually uh, transferring to the to the position of rulership. But it all starts with diligence. When you go into these these kings, a lot of these viceroys, these princes, these bishops, all these different pe people that's uh, in the higher position of the state, and their their whole thing is about uh, hashing out duties unto the people or whatnot, and uh, laws and policy. Their whole thing before they they got in that position was to give diligence to sit in that seat. Seats take diligence to sit in them. Before you're even a a, 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 a candidate. That's uh, that's actually um, looked at to even sit in that seat. What do they judge you by? They judge you by your consistent. They judge your resume. They judge you by certain things that you actually put to put in position, put in a uh, perspective. How much territory you you don't uh, expand it to? You know, like a lot of these politicians, they expand pretty far, man. So they be like, hey, he's the best candidate to to sit in this uh, seat because he's good with the people. He has a uh, uh, charisma, so to speak. He handled his business. He he cleaned up certain things in the city. He made sure that certain deals was 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 uh, was all right, so to speak. And then when they get when they fall in those seats, guess what? It's more work. All right, because you're working to get in the position of work. A, a kingdom is is falls into the hands of kings, and kings are the are the most diligent workers than any other people in that um in that that uh setup, man. Of course, you're not a uh, you don't have the, the the blue collar work, the manual slave labor, but you still have to give diligence. Blood, sweat, and tears come it has to come with this truth. So, like I said, the uh, in Proverbs twelve and twenty four, the hand of the diligence shall bear rule, but the slothful shall be under tribute. And that word tribute goes into being a slave because tributaries pay, pay taxes, and you don't want to be the payer. You want to be the one that's actually, you know, ruling, because we're paying tribute. Because we weren't diligent in, in the law, we weren't diligent in the wisdom, we weren't following the the train the trains or the trails of Yahweh by Shema Shai and consistency, and we got left behind, man. We got left behind and we got devoured by the prey, which is the lion, the so-called white man. We got uh took in and, and and basically used and abused through the society. But this is the time to give diligence to 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 break up out of this thing. And it says the prisoner exile hasteth that he may be loose from the prison. Or the captive exile hasteth that he may be loose from the prison. In order to be captive, in order to get out of that prison, you have to haste. You have to be aggressively uh, 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 motivated. You have to be uh, you have to have to aggressively give effort to get up out of the position that you're uh, locked in. All right, and we're all locked in these chains. All right, we're all locked in this system. So we have to get give diligence to break up out of here, man. All right, continue on. Proverbs 13 and 4, the soul of the sluggard desireth and have nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. Hey, and we all want to live fat. That's a that's a saying by Jake, man. Living fat, eating fat, living large. We want to live large. That's the nature of our people, man. We want to live it up. That's why we give diligence to make our call and election sure. The kingdom is all about living fat, not basically pushing the barrel, man. You actually navigating the man to push it. All right, you the, you the man on top of the man. You the big wig. You the one that's that's setting policies. You the one that, that that's dropping the gavel. All right, and instead of actually being under tribute, instead of actually you know building like a slave, so to speak, you're actually a a master, man, slave master. And like I said, it takes diligence because whenever you're building anything, especially a kingdom, you have to know about a kingdom. You got to know how a kingdom is ran, which takes what research. It takes understanding. It takes consistency. All right, you got to know how to uh, uh, deal with situations, troubleshooting the situations, coming up with uh, solutions, being a problem solver, so to speak. That all takes diligence. That all takes uh, uh, building your mind, building your spirituality, building your wisdom. Just as Solomon, all right, just as uh, Yahweh Shah, above all, all right, just as the disciples, they were all men. They gave an immense amount of diligence 
so that they would be approved in the eyes of Yahweh, while Yahweh shot. So this is a Proverbs 21 and 5. The thoughts of the diligent tend only to plenteousness, but of everyone that is hasty only to want. So when you give diligence, guess what? You, you, you fall into a lot of plenteousness, plenteousness because you're stacking up. You, you, you're building on your reserves, so to speak. You know, you're, you're making sure that everything that you're, you're building is, is for the security of yourself and the men around you. You're actually storing up treasures, as it is written in Matthew. Storing up your treasures in heaven. To have a plenteousness is, is to have an abundance of. But just like it says, but of everyone that is hasty only to want. So you don't want to you don't want to actually desire things that you actually can't can't get. You want to work to get it, man. Because you could want, want, want all day and, and, and cry and moan. Hey, a lot of things you could pray about, but the Lord ain't gonna just drop it in your lap. He wants you to give diligence through works. That's why James said, I'll show you my faith by my works. All right. And it says faith without works is dead. All right. Hebrews 11, 11 and 1. You know, you got to you got to uh, actually um, have faith. All right. And, and through faith, it's, it's, it's effort. Effort shows that you actually believe. Uh, Proverbs 22 and 29. See, is thou a man diligent in his business? He shall stand before kings. He shall not stand before mean men. And that word mean goes into uh, sim simple, so to speak, or insignificant. So you want to stand before kings, and it takes uh, a wisdom. It tells you that in Sarat, all right? How uh, wisdom maketh a man uh, uh, basically to be exalted amongst kings and princes. Because he's what? He's given diligent. He has a mind of a king, which, which is what? Being active. Like I said earlier, you, you're doing everything that's required required of you instead of just sloughing being slothful, laying around, you know, thinking about the pleasures of drinking, wine, uh, uh, women. Hey, it tells you that also in Sarat. Wine and women make men of understanding to fall away. Because wine and women make what? A man slothful, man. You be, you be on, uh, settled on your leaves. All you want to do is drink and get get jacked up, you know, and, and pop ribs and sleep all day. That, that does, that's not a mentality of a ruler. A ruler is active. All right, so you got to be fully activated in this thing. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot more scriptures that pertain to diligence. Like I said, the Bible is a book of diligence, so it always reweighs the point of being diligence. And that's why I said that uh, in the generalness of this topic, how this truth was never meant for the slothful, man. And, and you got a lot of men that just fall into this thing, and, and they think that, that they could take their time, their precious time in this thing, and, and, and move on their own way. Nah, this thing is living waters. It's rapid. All right, and if you don't keep up with the spirit, you're going to be left behind, point blank, period. Nobody's going to slow down for you. You got to catch up. Scripture says, see as thou a man of understanding, get thee be times aware of the, saints, the steps of his door. So that means you got to put forth the effort to get that wisdom, all right, of the apostles and elders. The scriptures tell you that in uh, uh, studying and giving diligence to get the understanding of the ancients. You got to, hey, scriptures also say, uh, if, when it was in our nature to uh, go astray, so seek the Lord ten times uh, harder, man. So to t seek somebody ten times harder is to give ten times the amount of diligence as somebody originally would. That means you have to you have to do it, man. You got to put it in. You got to get it in. All right, Proverbs nineteen and fifteen. Sloughing is cast into a deep sleep, and an idle soul shall suffer hunger. And that's something the Lord hates, you know. And I could get that in the Proverbs six and sixteen, where it says, "Go to the ant." I'm not going to get it, you know, in the spirit, brothers. Uh, you know, I just wanted to really quote that also. Because like I said, the book is a, the Bible is a book of diligence. Every book pertains to diligence. All right, from Genesis when, with our, our faithful father Abraham, the, the diligence that he gave to actually, you know, gain in the spirit, you know, doing those mass amount of travels and building the covenants. Isaac himself, you know, wrestled, uh, no, excuse me, Isaac didn't uh, wrestle the angel. But uh, Jacob, Jacob wrestled the angel. You know, Isaac gave diligence. All right, Jacob wrestled the angel, the 12 tribes, you know, the, the, um, the men of the Lord, Moses, Samuel, all these different men, you know, account by account. From Genesis to Revelations is a book of, of, of being consistent, all right, or, or, or a book that was tailored for men to actually give diligence and be Consistent, so what? You don't fall asleep. This this is the time to wake up, man. Kwam Yashala, to rise. All right, so that we don't suffer hunger in this captivity because we want to live fat, like I read earlier, through giving, giving diligence. And we don't want to suffer no more. The reason why we give diligence is so we don't have to suffer. 
And I'm going to end it with this scripture in 2 Peter 1 and 5. And besides this, give all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to your virtue knowledge, knowledge excuse me, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience, and to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. For if these things be in you, starting with diligence, and and abound, meaning to increase. So you got to even increase in uh, all these things, which is brotherly kindness, charity, temperance, which is balance, patience, which is long suffering, godliness, knowledge, virtue, faith, and diligence. So these are the things you should be abounding with. All right. They make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Verse 9. But he that lack of these things is blind. And cannot see afar off, and have forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. Verse 10, Wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if you do these things, you shall never fall. So it started with diligence, and it ends with diligence. So, you know, that's the main point. Hopefully, you brothers are edified, and by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah, by Hashem, Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom, my.